Ain't nobody like a donut party. Hey, hey. ho. ho. <laughs> we got these donut party donuts here. Oh, man. The best vegan donuts in Edmonton. Straight DP. Oh. <laughs> you know what, Andrew? You're worth it. Oh, that's very nice. Happy guy. birthday, baby. Oh, thank you. I can't wear your hat for this episode. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Can't wear it with the headphones on. Okay, here's Doc. Your head is already so big. So, are we recording? Yes. yes. Okay. I Doc. have a I have a birthday hat on. Yay! It's a little tinfoil birthday hat. Happy it's birthday, nice. Andrew! Oh, thank you very much. You guys are very nice. I'm glad I get to do this with you guys. On How my young are you? I this is I'm just begatting my fourth decade. Ooh, this is it. Boy. The big four zero. Yeah. You must mm. hate doing this podcast with me. No, no. It's just uh when you're like the old school James Bond, like Golden Eye was like <laughs> That was funny oh, though. That's that so funny. funny. That's a just, good one. That was that was funny. Yes, oh, it was. Man. Some um, kid told me that uh like uh, smashing pumpkins is a classic rock and I wanted to slap them. Oh dude. I'm <laughs> just like whack. Anyway. Uh, so we, uh, have a little birthday thing here and, uh, I do not want to spoil hey. the snack. <laughs> so we have 10 fun facts about donuts. Uh, okay. So number one, donuts are older than you think. They can trace their origins back to ancient Greece and Rome. These donuts consisted of fried balls of dough drizzled with honey and fish sauce. Ooh. That actually sounds pretty tasty. Uh, yeah. Well, fish sauce, though. Yikes. Oh. Did we, you got, we didn't do that. I did fish sauce mm. with... That used to be the, the main... That used to be what ketchup was. And I did it with Avery on the mess hall pot. We should do that sometime. What you ketchup doing? never was... Ketchup there was multiple different types. We just mm. called ketchup. it blood. So, <clears throat> it, it's, it's a long story, but fish sauce... Ketchup... Used to not have tomatoes in it. It had like no, a yeah, fish base. Mushrooms. Yeah, and 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 mushrooms. Yeah, and there was. Hmm. So we made up an old version of fish sauce, and it was uh, or old version of ketchup pre tomato, and it was vile. <laughs> um, you guys screwed up. Yeah, it was, and we and we had <laughs> cucumber potato chips with it. It was the grossest thing. Uh, okay, so Arabs would fry them without sugar, then sweeten them by coating them with a syrupy sugar mix. This trend went to Europe and the Dutch, and they called them uh, oil cocking. And the Dutch and Pilgrims bought this tasty treat to America's shores, <gasps> or did they? Bum, bum, bum. Because it's also that uh, there's donut-shaped foods in prehistoric ruins left by ancient Native Americans, which Wait, means say that part again. So there are donut-shaped foods in oh. prehistoric ruins left by ancient Native Americans, which means that donuts are they're on the paleo diet, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You want me to read the second fun fact Oh, two. fun fact number two. Spies. If you dig the donut's hole's origin, then you <laughs> will find many donut fun facts about it. Donuts used to be thick and unevenly cooked in the center, so bakers started cutting holes in the centers to ensure the entire pastry was cooked all the way through. Oh, right yeah. in the hole. What'd you guys right do? In the Which hole. one did you guys have? The oil cocking. What are we doing? Are we just getting <clears throat> getting in there? We're we just doing? going in there. Number three. Drei. Chains of Rings. Founded under the name of Open Kettle in 1948, Dunkin' Donuts is the oldest continuously running chain of donut shops. It also vies for the coveted most popular donut shop, along with Timmy Ho's, also mm-hmm. known as Tim Hortons, and Krispy Kreme. Dunkin' Donuts dominates the eastern shore of the United States, while the stores are harder to find in the westward states. That's You know what? I find that to be true. I have family on the east coast, and uh, there's lots of... Or what is it? America runs on Dunkin' or something like that? Yeah. It's yeah. True. Each chain has its own perks. Dunkin' Donuts is famous for the total package of delicious treats and the most popular donut chain coffee, while Krispy Kreme is known for its warm, fresh donuts dripping in thick, sticky, sugary coatings. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme before? Fuck yeah, they're so sure. good. No, dude, I, I had one once and I was like, this is way too much sugar. Like, for how me. do you not eat the What's this other box? one? What's this next one? Oh, man. That had like a, a bacony taste oh, or something. This is the one that was like salty. It had, it had a meaty. A meaty taste. Is it a meat donut? Yeah. It's a meat donut. Yeah. These are actually all vegan. Are they? Okay. Well, it has a meaty. Do you know what I'm talking about there? No. Whatever that brown stuff is on top, it has a meat thing going on. That's delicious. Yeah. That is delicious. There are many donut fun facts linked with its feats. The largest donut ever made was in 1993 in Utica, New York. The donut was a staggering 1.7 tons and was 16 feet across, 16 inches high. How they do uh, sadly, the world's largest cup of coffee, measuring 210 gallons, wasn't brewed until 2010. <laughs> there you go, Charles. We're not supposed to eat on podcasts, but hey, 
we, we, this we're, is why we're going to be we're, famous. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not playing by the rules. We break all the rules. Oh, look at that one. It's the that. ASMR component. Oh, I want to know what that tastes like, but I'm going to wait for Charlie it, to read this one. Yeah. In the early days of donuts, these treats were flat or rolled in shape. They were also associated with small and unevenly shaped balls of dough that resembled walnuts. Dough nut. We see what you did there. Bakers realized that these shapes did not allow for uniform cooking of dough, so they began to push out the centers of the treats, forming the rings we know and love. In 1920, a Russian refugee named Adolf Levitt invented the machine that automatically shaped the donuts to keep up with the rising demand for treats in his shop. He then marketed the machine across the country, and it was recognized as a game changer in the Grand Donut Scheme at the Chicago World's Fair. And the world of ring donuts in the United States was firmly established. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to make donuts before? Yeah. Nope. Oh, oh mine always look at like lumpy, cancerous testicles. I'm Lump like, nuts. what's going on? Yeah, because you well, don't I have the like, machine. I have I feel the machine. Like this this fact was made for me. Zach. Okay. The first dunks. Number six. There are some other interesting donut fun facts associated with dunking donuts trend. The dough is used in making donuts wasn't always sweetened. During war times or poverty, sugar was hard to come by. Honey and other toppings were used to sweeten the pastries, but they would frequently be dry and flavorless otherwise. Mm. This all changed in 1934 when Clark Gable famously dipped a donut into a glass of milk in the movie. It happened one night. Suddenly, dunking donuts became a trending fad. Thanks to Clark Gable. Clark oh, Gable. Clark's doing Could it. you imagine just that one guy be like, you know what? Why Every, not? Everybody in the world just sees it and they're like, frankly, dear, I do not care. <laughs> dunk, dunk, dunk. Here's a nice one that uh, uh, Canadians eat more donuts per capita than anyone else in the world, uh, with Japan coming in at a close second. Um, the States, yeah, that. It's amazing. Yeah, I think we need to matcha, stop and talk about this matcha sesame. Matcha dressing on there, yeah. Oh. I wasn't a big fan of the sesame, but uh, matcha icing on the donut was... Just money. money in the bank! Money in the bank! Ten, the 193 million Americans eat donuts annually. Production standards at approximately 10 billion donuts made per year. The donut business makes an astounding 3.6 billion in profits. That's like the, the donut guy on The Simpsons. He's like... He gave up donuts. I just bought a boat. <laughs> oh, fact eight. Ah, it's nice. In a completely true stereotype, law enforcement officers genuinely do like donuts. This tradition began in the 1950s when police were looking for a late night pick me up while working overnight. Donut shops and coffee shops were generally the only places open late at night and early in the morning for them to grab a snack and a cup of coffee. Many shops offer free coffee to law enforcement. It's a great way to ensure that police trickle in randomly throughout the day and night, keeping the shops safe. On a related note, police officers know the best donuts and coffee in their cities, but most people refuse to ask them. Whew. That would be an odd thing to be like, thanks for the ticket, officer. Now, where's the best donut no, joint in this me. town? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Like, Please don't put me in yeah. jail. You look like you're in good shape. You don't need donut please shows. don't beat me. Where's the best coffee shop? I guess you could rounds, be played safe and safe. shape, right? Where's the best coffee shop <laughs> that you know? Wink, wink. That's when it's like pepper spray right in the eyes. <laughs> Nine. National Donut Day. Again and again. There are actually multiple donut days in the United States throughout the year. June 8th, for instance, is considered National Jelly-Filled Donut Day, while September 14th pays homage to the Cream-Filled Donut okay. Days. National Donut Day is traditionally <laughs> the first Friday of the month of June. It was started in 1938 by the charity group The Salvation Army to honor 250 women who served active military donuts during the World War One. These women fried the donuts in soldiers' helmets at their encampments. The day was also used to gather funds for feeding the poor during the Depression. Uh, for some reason, a second National Donut Day is September 14th. It is unclear where the second date came from, but who really cares? Free donuts. <laughs> Who's asking? Yeah, totally. Damn rates, right, baby. That's it. That's interesting about the Salvation Army. I I did mm. not know that. It's uh, really filtered down from Big Donut. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's something about when it's like cream filled nuts and jelly filled nuts yeah. and Here's all the food. all the nuts you like. I like a good Boston cream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it would totally say yeah. something like, <laughs> you like a good Boston cream. <laughs> so move over, common donut. There is a newer contender on the rise. Cronut. A shop, oh wow, this sounds really good. A shop in New York City began to cross donuts and croissants cronuts. and called them cronuts. You didn't know this? I never heard this of this was before. a food trend like four yeah. or five years ago. They were so popular when they were introduced in 2013. 
People stood in line for hours to buy them, then resold them for upwards of $20 a piece, oh. presumably in some highly secretive donut <laughs> black market. These cronuts are putting my kids through college. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we've given our favorite fried dough appreciation in one way or another. How much do you know about this classic treat? Well, we got a, we got one piece of donuts left, boys. Oh, okay, here we go. This, nice. almost, this almost seems like a cheers it. Oh, yay. Uh, Boom. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's really good donut, man. That's a classic, like, pink with sprinkles. Oh, so good. Mm. Why do you taste so good in my mouth? <laughs> I'm going to be a poop in my pants. Did you see, Theo? Did you see? <laughs> I'm Curiosity Cosby. Ain't nobody like a donut party. Episode, 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 episode. You gotta wear your hat for this episode. Shh.